What's up YouTube, Coach Dan Blewett here. Today we're gonna go over the role of the front leg in the pitching motion. So what the front leg should do is referred to front leg blocking, front leg bracing, having a stiff front leg. Whatever way you wanna to refer to it is fine. The terms are interchangeable, but there's definitely a right way and a wrong way to stride down the mound, like we all know that. So even though every pitcher does, every high level pitcher does similar things, there's a lot of little individual differences you'll see between everyone. It's like no one has the exact same pitching mechanics. But there's definitely some things that we all want to do that can help us throw harder, throw more accurately, and reduce stress on our arms. So one of the things that definitely helps increase velocity is a good front leg brace. So when your front leg hits, transferring as much of your energy over that front leg, a lot like a pole vaulter, um, is going to be ideal for pretty much every pitcher's mechanics. So today we're going to go over four example videos that I've got, two pro guys and two amateur guys, and we're just going to talk through some of the ways that their mechanics are different and some of the ways their leg, front legs brace and help them add velocity. So if you're new to my channel, definitely stick around, subscribe. I do tons of pitching tutorials. I've got two pitching books, links are in the description below. So I've got lots of resources for you if you're looking to get better, but stick around. I think you're really going to enjoy today's video on the front leg brace. Okay, so this is Hunter. He's a very good 15U pitcher, and we're going to look at his front leg. So first thing, I'm going to let this play. And watch his throwing arm relative to his stride leg. So you'll see his stride leg braces, right? So right here, it's pretty much dead straight as the ball's now on its way. So our goal in a front leg as a pitcher is for it to be a lot like a pole vaulter. And what that means, here's a, a video of a pole vaulter right here. Basically your front leg can either be mushy and then you don't transfer as much power or it can be very stiff and then it transfers more of your weight over that front leg into the baseball. So let's look at his front leg here real quick before we go to the next pitcher. So he hits, his arm starts to lay back. And now if you look, they time up where his arm is starting to accelerate the ball at the same time that his leg is pushing back. So that's the goal. That's one of the things that we're trying to achieve. So here's a pitcher from the Atlanta Braves. Let's look at his front leg because it's going to look a little bit different. Now when he lands here, his leg is stiff. You'll see it doesn't bend any further, which is, again, one of the things that we definitely need. But you'll also notice that it doesn't push back like you saw before. It does push back when he follows through but it doesn't so much as he's accelerating the ball. Here's another 15U pitcher. This is Brody. And he also has a good front leg. One thing we're going to look at, it doesn't lock out quite as much, and this is something we were working on with him, but it definitely pushes back. You can see his angles start to get shallower, so his legs start to straighten as he starts to accelerate the ball with his arm. And then he has a pretty good almost straight leg as he's extending and then it actually bends a little bit at the end so he's got a little bit of stuff to work on overall does a very good job and this was something we were practicing with him this was part of his uh, practice throwing routine but again our goal is that at the very least this front leg doesn't bend at all so it stays stiff and then our goal is that that kneecap starts to push back and the leg starts to straighten as we're accelerating the ball so he definitely does that. He's on the right track. He's really close. Okay, here's our last example. This guy does an awesome job with his front leg. Obviously a pitcher from the fills. So let's look. When he hits here, pretty shallow knee bend. Again, that looks good. It's like a 135, 140 degree angle at his knee. And as he starts to accelerate, you'll quickly see that same thing. As his arm goes back, his knee starts to straighten. As his arm goes forward, it pretty much finishes the job. So you can see how he's just really transferring weight and energy over that front leg. And there you see that nice, straight, braced front leg. So he's a really good example of what you would want your front leg to do to help you throw harder and just get more out of your frame. This isn't a, a super tall guy, but he's getting a lot out of his lower half, striding down the mound, planting that foot, bracing on it, and then pushing back with that knee, which is pushing his arm faster forward. All right. 
All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, again, the way I really relate the front leg to people is that it's a lot like a pole vaulter. If your front leg, if you're running with a pole and you stuck it in mushy mud, you wouldn't go over that bar like a pole vaulter does, right? But when a pole vaulter is running down that runway and sticks that pole into that concrete block, now all of his energy transfers up and over the bar. It's the same thing with your front leg. When that front leg hits, if it's firm, if it's stiff, and if it straightens as we start to accelerate the ball, then we're amplifying the power that we've created. We're getting as much out of our lower half as we can, okay? So I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel. Definitely check out the links in the description below. I've got two pitching books. I've got online courses. I've got a lot of resources to help you, whether you're a parent, a player, or a coach. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.